things that I do constantly on this trip that prove that I'm an idiot are I get everything packed up on my bike and uh, lock up the top box and then go put my helmet on and I still have my baseball hat on. I don't think I'm ever going to learn to stop doing that. And uh, the other thing I do is I think I've, it's what, almost 10 in the morning. I've already gone for seventh gear about 17 times today. So for those of you who don't drive a manual, there is no seventh gear on my bike. So it was uh, Ganado. Ganado, there's probably some kind of better way to say it than that that I stayed in last night. Um, just got up and got out of there, had breakfast in a place called Gold Bay. Don't know why it's called Gold Bay. I did not see a bay anywhere. There was no water that I could see, nor was there the famous Canadian department store. Um, and I'm now on the road heading towards Galveston. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I think due to the heat, my beard has started uh, retreating into my face. Okay, kids, if Google Maps is correct, which I have no reason to doubt it, it's got me as far as I am now. Something exciting is about to happen as I crest the top of this bridge. I think we are going to see the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, I can see it already over the side. Here it comes. There it is. This makes me feel like I have gone somewhere. Left the Pacific Ocean and I am now at the Gulf of Mexico, which technically, I don't know, is that part of the Atlantic? Who cares? It's different water, different salty water. Awesome. I guess we're looking at a town where you got to worry about the ocean coming in and filling up the land because look at how all these houses are up on stilts. Get some big weather here, hurricanes. Looks like a cool place to, well, either live or come to for a holiday. I think I'll be the only guy anywhere near the beach here that's wearing a ski suit. So I've made it to the Gulf of Mexico. This is what it looks like. I'm in for another day or so of uh, driving along stuff that looks like that I think at least into Galveston it's all along the beach like this I if I read the map right so a guy should probably there's no uh, no beach here the tide's so high I'm gonna perch on some rocks and find my timing and I think I am about to touch the Gulf of Mexico there it is oh yeah that's it Oh! <laughs> Waterproof shoes. Just thought while I'm here, I should do a little maintenance, a little chain loop while I'm stopped and switching over jackets and stuff. <sighs> and that is about it. I usually clean it first, but it wasn't too bad, and uh, I don't have any water here, so. I uh, just got to sit here and let it dry up for a few minutes and then I'm on my way. So my bike and I are just on the, uh, the ferry here to go from Galveston Island over to Goat Island. every town I've gone through has a big water tower like this. It's not that uncommon up in Canada, I guess, if you get to smaller places. But um, down here, everyone. And I think if I lived in one of these towns, I would constantly be thirsty because my thought would be, look, that, that little bucket up there is the only water our town has. Well, 
I have been racing against the sun trying to get to the hotel before the uh, sun went down and uh, it looks like the sun won but there's still fire in the sky back there um, so yeah but I think I did good today made it into Louisiana uh, I'm staying in a town called Jennings um, saw Galveston what else I don't know it was good Thank mm -hmm. you.